Hello, my name is Chris Visaya, part of the Splunk education team. In this video, we will discuss our suggested naming convention for apps. This will be especially helpful for apps deployed using the deployment server. But first, we want to talk a little bit about apps and how we suggest you build them. Apps should always be created in smaller discrete chunks. So instead of packaging all inputs, configs, web GUIs, etc. into a single app, break out their parts into separate apps, keeping the number of config files low per app. There are a few reasons that this is helpful. Smaller apps can be reused in multiple configurations. They let you take advantage of Splunk's configuration layering, and smaller apps are easier to debug. Having all these smaller apps can get really messy. That is where a good naming convention becomes extremely important. We suggest naming your deployment apps using four segmented keys, organization, group, application, and configuration. The first key is used to identify the company or organization for which the app will be used. This is especially useful when you have to support multiple organizations in your deployment. Group is the group the app was created for. Examples might be the department, office, or team, like marketing or research. If all groups will be using the app, you can use all. The application key references the server class or application type that the deployment app is associated with. Items such as instance type or data type will fall into this category. Finally, the fourth key is used to reference which configuration files are affected by the app. In this example, we have an app created by Splunk for the marketing group that uses Apache server data and affects the inputs configuration. Now with our naming convention, when we deploy our apps, we know who created them and what effect they have on our data. If you have any questions, be sure to check out Splunk Answers and the documentation. And while you're at it, watch the other videos in our channel and sign up for education courses on our website. If you have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, please email us at howtovideos at splunk.com. Thanks for watching.